I never had your education, love. Things were different in my day, and better. She won't even try. No, and for once she's right. Let it happen, I say. I shall just pay my money, and if they don't like it, I shall just look them in the eye. My dear girl, you work in a shop. A boutique, if you don't mind. And Madame Bear needs things just the same. All the other shops are going to be Decimal or LSD. Not her. All money's good money, she says. All mixed up together. And why not? And what about change? <laughs> You're going to be in a mess. You've got one of those shoppers' tables, I think. Well, heaven help Madame Bernie's and all who fail in her. But it's not all that easy. I mean, Peter's clever. Oh, yeah. Oh, and of course, so are you, dear. But, well, I think I understand what's going to happen in a general sort of way. But it's shopping that bothers me. It's difficult enough now. What with tuppence off and sixpence off, and you never know off what. I mean, it's going to be so easy for them to put the prices up without our knowing. Well, you'll be all right after a day or two. I mean, some shops will have prices marked in LSD and decimals. Others will have the shopping tables on the walls that you can compare. There's one here somewhere. Why did you take it with you? Peter, where did you put it? Consult your shopper's table. Here it is. Oh, good. Oh, here we are. That's all very well, Mum, but it's not the best way. Well, look, take tea. If a quarter of the sort we like is eight and a half new pence, in the market you might find it at eight new pence. And in old Mother Riley's shop, you'll see it at seven and a half. You don't have to keep looking at the table to know that the tea at eight and a half new pence is the dearest. Yes, I see. Well, yes, he's right, but that doesn't help us with Granny's problem. Any problems I may have, which I haven't, are my problems. You and your decimals. You've all been brainwashed. And with biological action. Somebody should put their foot down. And there's thousands that will. I never held with strikes and sit-downs and all that sort of thing. But the time has come. I shall have a lay-down protest on my bed until people come to their senses. And if they give me my pension in this new money, I shall give it back to them. When it hurts. But, Gran, the only new money's the coppers. Pound notes the same, silver's the same. If they won't take my money in the shops, which has always been good, I shall go without. I shall starve. And if I starve, I shall write to the Queen. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Poor Mum. You don't think so? No, no, no. She's as bright as a button, really. Oh, no. Oh, no, the elastic's bust, and they'll never take it back. A few days later, Monday, February the 15th, 1971, D-Day. Don't want your food, dear. Wow, only three minutes to the bus! Sandra, dear, I think one of your false eyelashes just plopped into the cornflake. What? Oh, no. Oh, why does everything have to happen to me? Well, what's the matter with her? Only boys, dear. Oh. I think we'll have to have a chat, young lady. She'll be all right. She'll just have to come round in her own good time. Bye. Bye. Bye, son. Oh, Gordon, would you give me a lift on the way to the centre? Of course. I'm going to leave the plates in the flat until later. You know, it's funny, but now that it's happened, decimals, I mean, I just can't wait to get to the shops to see what's going on. Oh. What's the matter? I haven't got any of the new money. I, I mean, should I have been to the post office or something? No, no, no. That will all be taken care of. The shops that are going over to decimals will have stocked up with the new coins. If you give them a note or silver, you'll get new coins in the change. Of course, the old coins will still be in circulation. And you'll get old coins in the change in shops that are trading in LSD. To avoid confusion, I'd uh, keep the old money separate in your purse from the new. So there'll be two kinds of shops? Yes, to start off with, there'll be uh, decimal shops charging decimal prices and giving new money in the change. And there'll be LSD shops charging LSD prices and giving old money in the change. Quite an adventure, isn't it? Well, come on, get your coat. Five new pence, please. Thank you. Thank you. How much, Mrs. Johns? Three new pence, love. But I haven't got any new pennies yet. It's all right, I have plenty of change. Oh.
Hello, my old darling. Hello, hello. How are you today? Oh, all alone, I see. Oh, what are the neighbours think? <laughs> and where were you lot on Saturday? Ah, on the razzle-dazzle. <laughs> well, would you settle last week's now, or uh, shall I hold it over? Oh, I dare say I can manage that. Ah, uh, there's a love. Now, it's uh, stand by with your slide rules and ready reckoners, because from today we're decimal only. Oh. So let's see now. If you'd have paid on Saturday, it'd have been uh, 26 and 6. Mm. But today it's uh, £1.32 and a half. Simple, really, isn't it? But some of them, you know, they've got no idea. One old duck told me she'd been saving her pennies for months because she thought that from today they'd be worth tuppence saving me each. Oh. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, love. I've no idea. Oh, my love. Don't worry, Mrs. Moore, don't I? You ain't the only one. Now, look, you've got to make a start somewhere. You give me two nicker, and I'll give it a change. That's all, see? And if you think I'm diddling you, you can get the family to check it when they come home. Offer more and get change. That's what they say. So let's see. Uh, one pound thirty-two and a half from two quid is sixty-seven and a half new pence change. 